Hi, welcome to the review with Mawash. Today we'll be reviewing the film Filori. Filori stars Anushka Sharma, Suraj Sharma, and uh, Diljit Dosanjh. And I must say that it's probably one of the most fun supernatural movies I've seen in a while. What doesn't work about Filori is the second half. It's too long, it's too draggy, it could have been easily 20 minutes shorter. But what does work about uh, Filori is Anushka Sharma and the age-old sepia-toned romance that she has with Duljit Dosanjh. Minor spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen this film yet, then don't go ahead, stop right here, go watch the film and come back for this review. For those of you who have seen it or who don't mind the spoilers, Filori is a girl from Filor and she is basically uh, somebody who writes beautiful poetry and it gets published. She falls in love with an unlikely man who uh, uses this poetry and then goes to the city. He goes to Amritsar where he sells this uh, poetry with his song, with his music and then he sort of becomes famous. He sends home some money and he promises her that he would come back and marry her on Besakhi day. He doesn't come back. Filori is heartbroken and then she commits suicide. She thereon becomes a ghost and then starts to inhabit a tree. A tree that Kanan marries out of superstition uh, pressured by his family. He's sort of a commitment phobe and he doesn't really want to get married and he's not really happy with the idea of settling down so early. In comes Filori into his life, now married to him and then we find out what goes on in the past of Filori, how Kanan begins to realize the importance of true love and it uh, sort of culminates and joins uh, very poignantly in the massacre of Jallianwala Bagh uh, that happened in Amritsar in 1919. But what doesn't work is that the commitment phobia sort of storyline doesn't really seem to catch your fancy that far even though the performances are really good. The second half doesn't really capture you the way the first half did. The animation and the, uh, the graphics are absolutely beautiful and they take you in. And Anushka Sharma is absolutely flawless. It's a great effort on her part to be a producer of this film and I think uh, she's she, she's got her head in the right direction. She's kind of making these really challenging, these really bold movies which are not bold in terms of you know showing scenes which would be properly censored but bold in terms of new ideas, uh, new themes, new stories and it is a beautiful story and I think you should definitely watch it if, if you're an Anushka fan uh, and you should also watch it for the fact that it's it's something new, it's something different. The only reason why I feel that you might want to give it a pass is because uh, it tends to get a little too long towards the end. Thank you for listening to this review. The links are in the description. You can subscribe, like our pages, follow on Twitter. Take care. Thank you for listening to this review for The Hafiz.